So I had the question, what are the best apps available right now for uh, basically under $50 and that are new or exciting? And it's Black Friday today when I'm releasing this video. And so I had um, questions also about sales that are going on. So that's what I'm going to do in this video. I'm going to talk about uh, the top five or six apps I use for painting, for digital art, for illustration, for video. And so we're going to go through those very quickly and talk about what they're best for and the price and the sales that are going on today. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, it's a great time to do so. It's a lot of content like this, as well as improving your workflow while not being trapped in an office. I love working at the beach or in the car or wherever is most comfortable, not most restrictive. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right in. First one here is Clip Studio Paint. This is a industry standard, something that has been around for a long time. They've done a lot of improvements on version one, and right now they have a special going on. Ta-da! Surprise, not surprised. Okay, let's look at it. So here is their special right here. You can buy Clip Studio Paint. Pro version, which is not the proest version, it's actually the second level for fifty dollars. Uh, is it fifty dollars? Let's look. So here, right now, the special that they're doing is they have version two coming out, which looks like it's going to be amazing. That is coming out in March. If you buy right now, then you get version two for free. Yay! I like deals like this. They're great. We're actually doing a deal like that with Tablet Pro. We have version three. That's this artist pad on the left. This guy on the left, which is touch hotkeys. So if you're using a program like Clip Studio, you don't have to have your keyboard. You can have all your shortcuts on a panel on the side. Um, you can check that out at tabletpro.com. Okay, so here, let's click on buy now. $49.99. Yep, that's what I thought can buy now and this will give you the full program and version 2. Clip Studio Paint EX, what is this? This has animation, it has uh, manga, comics, webtoon, it has all the features over here. So basically if you're doing actual uh, work making a comic or you're doing animation, um, then this is a uh, the, the one you want. If you're just doing digital art, not doing animation, not doing um, actually like staging comic book pages and layouts and everything, then Clip Studio Paint is going to give you everything. Okay, so that's the one I'm recommending here that looks like this. Beautiful. They read the, the uh, UI with new icons and everything about this time last year. All right, let's jump to the next program. This one, again, good for artwork actually like they show on their website. So here, concept art, painting, character art, illustration for design. Um, I haven't really done any of their vector stuff. Uh, they do have some vector tools, but basically, basically artwork uh, like this. They, they say like a heavy manga style it doesn't have to be manga style. You can do anything you want, but line art, coloring, and everything. It is not the best choice if you want to do natural media. If you want to do uh, impasto uh, depth, where it looks like you're using really thick paint, watercolor effects, and stuff like that is not the best choice. I'm going to show you that choice right now. So this is Rebel 5 Pro. We're not actually going to be looking at the Pro version. I'll have a separate video for that. Uh, basically what this is, this is a fantastic program for natural media replication. Now I will quickly point out if you are a beginning artist, you get confused easily with software. ArtRage Vite is a great choice. It's very simple to use. It has a palette that we're familiar with um, that looks like the brushes and the tools. Um, this is not much uh, more complicated. All right, so here, let's go ahead and uh, this is a pencil sketch I did a while ago. Here you can see some uh, thicker paint. When you mix, here you have uh, very natural mixing. So let's add some blue and red. Let's blend these. You get some beautiful colors and blend the blue with the yellow. We get these beautiful greens. Okay, so this, if we turn this off,
here. Let's add some watercolors. You have all your tilt support, pressure support. You've got a great curve, pressure curve editor, water. Add a little water. And then let's blow this. And what you can see here is the water and the media, it interacts the same way it would do using physics. It's beautiful, great for pencil sketches, charcoal, oils, acrylics, uh, all of these different things. Very, very powerful program. If you want to replicate natural media on a digital canvas that reacts back with you, this is the program to get. Now, this program is actually about $160, $150 for the pro version, but they just recently announced a uh, personal version, which is actually almost identical to the uh, $80 version, $90 version that they normally sell. So Rebel 5 Personal, it has less canvases here. All of these can be... Um, used to create textures and the paint actually goes into the crevices and the peaks of those textures. It's amazing. Uh, so that is uh, something if you want more canvases, then the personal version only includes a couple. So you have to buy those, but it includes the base program with tons of features. If you want to know more about the differences between personal and pro, then check out this other video I have on my channel. I'll link to that in the description and you can find out more. And let's look at the sales that they have going on right now. Skatemotions.com. Here we have personal for $19.99, which is fantastic. Uh, this image that they have right here is 30% off of their creative assets, which means if you want to buy papers, you can buy papers. Uh, by the way, both Clip Studio and Rebel 5, I have affiliate relationships with uh, and so please use the links I have in the description. That'll help me and my family, and I appreciate it. Okay, so Rebel 5 Pro, you can see kind of the artwork here. Really do anything you want, but you have some beautiful options here. You can learn about that right here. The different textures. The Pro version has nanopixel uh, technology, which means you have an insane amount of detail. This um, added in using artif artificial, this added in using artificial intelligence. Really cool. So if you're printing these uh, pieces of art that you make, they actually will look amazing on a canvas. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the next option. All right, the next one we're going to look at here is for design. Now, Affinity Designer 2 just came out uh, about a week ago, so you need to actually act fast on this one. So Designer 2 has a handful of highly requested features. They've improved uh, a lot of different things. I am not going to go into details on what they improved. You can watch their uh, video on their website. Uh, but here is what you should know. They have a special right now. So one of the things that I like about designer, this is what I do for my um, graphic design work. If I'm creating a logo or I'm um, creating box art or whatever it is I'm doing, I like this because everything is vector based. They've got really intelligent ways of managing, uh, aligning, centering, distributing different things. They've got node tools, corner tools, uh, shape tools and everything. Um, it's like Illustrator. Right? These are vector pieces that you can span to any size you want, and they're going to retain all of their clarity. I like it. It's mostly simple, simple to use. Uh, one thing that you want to know here right away, this is where I do all of my YouTube thumbnails. Okay, so let's, let's open up this right here, this icon here, right down here. There are additional, on the very, very bottom line, additional details on how to manage things using different tools. So let's say we grab the corner tool, we click on here, you're going to have instructions here at the very bottom, control plus click plus alt to begin polygon node selection, drag plus shift to add nodes to selection, drag plus right mouse to remove nodes from selection. Those details sit down there and they really make it easy to understand some of the more advanced complex aspects of doing vector work. 
Okay, so right here, this is on special, and this is on special for a very short time. Um, let's, so they have vector and they have roster tools like pixel tools, so you can do just regular painting in there. Uh, they don't uh, blend colors, which is something that's, this, this is for a specific type of art. If you're using a lot of flat colors, then this, this is great. Uh, and instead of their full price, they're doing all of the software for, uh, I think it's 104, but it's only for this first month. So you definitely need to act quickly. This is shape building. This is really cool, actually. You can create these beautiful complex shapes that are balanced without having to tweak all the lines individually. It's done intelligently. Uh, you also have a non-destructive uh, warping, uh, which is really cool because you can apply a warp to a layer and then you can put something into that layer and it will warp. Skew. Okay, so here's some of the details. Uh, let's look at the price. Okay, launch offer, 40% off all apps. Okay, uh, $99. It's actually, uh, this is a cheaper price than was offered to me. Um, but here you can see uh, $40.99. This is a one-time payment, not a subscription. If you are using... Uh, Adobe Suite, and you want to get away from it, Affinity Designer is a great replacement for uh, Adobe Illustrator. Uh, photo for retouching images, editing images, uh, stuff like that. Publisher is for creating stunning page layouts and stuff. The price, $100 for all three, is a very good deal. So if you're looking for something to do those things, I recommend it. This is not, in my opinion, a Photoshop replacement. Uh, for depends on what you do in Photoshop, um, but another video. Okay, so here I recommend uh, at least get Affinity Designer 2 for $40.99. That's a great deal. All right, let's jump to our next three apps, and these three are free. You're welcome. I think they're really good, actually. First one we're going to talk about is Clip Champ Video Editor. This is great for casual social media posts. Uh, so let's click right here. We're gonna use this template, 16 by nine aspect ratio. Here we've got uh, some animated GIFs. We've got sound effects. We've got uh, B-roll, we've got text. We have a couple of different layers of video. And, and this allows you to do a lot of different things very simple, does not have advanced color grading, it doesn't have advanced um, audio management, doesn't have a lot of the different things of the more powerful linear editors like DaVinci Resolve, which is the next one we're going to look at, but it is very fast and easy to use. ClipChamp comes with Windows 11 now. They were purchased by Microsoft, and so now they are included with Windows 11. It's really cool. They have an upgrade option here which allows you premium stock elements, free stock. There's not that many. Um, as far as like brand kits, you can have um, a, a specific set of colors and font styles and logos and stuff that, that appear on your videos automatically using a brand kit. Uh, and that's something that for some people is really going to save a lot of time. It would be nice for me too, but I, I don't want to spend that money every month. I'm not a fan. Uh, but the basic stuff, all of that is free. All right, so let's jump to the next one. This is the one I use for video editing myself. I use this one when I am at home and when I am uh, out and about. I use uh, Video Leap by... Um, video Leap. Video Leap and Beat Leap. I don't remember who they're by at the moment. Okay, so here... Let's look at this video. Uh, by the way, DaVinci Resolve, they did an update recently. No, I already did that. They did an update recently. The program scales correctly, finally, because it used to not scale on uh, HD screens. It looked tiny. And so even uh, adjusting different things made it a really, it was difficult. Uh, now the UI actually looks beautiful. I'm using a laptop studio looks fantastic. So here, uh, DaVinci Resolve is free. 
there's a 200, I think it's a $200 version that has, um, actually, it uses a lot more of your uh, computer to create a smoother playback option. I have a video on how I have this set up, different ways to reduce uh, lag if there's lag playing back the video that you recorded. Okay, so this one has everything, has everything up, but it's not as fast if you're trying to do a quick social media style video. Uh, there's not support for animated GIFs, as far as I know. If I'm wrong, please let me know because that'd be great. And there's not a uh, really easy way to pull in content from uh, different stock image, audio, sound effect uh, places. Uh, as far as I know, that's actually uh, something you have to kind of manually do every time. If I'm wrong, again, please correct me. But I would use this exclusively if I could just go uh, do a little search and go, okay, I want an animated GIF of a bouncing arrow or in a little explosion or something to draw attention to some section of the, of the video that I'm doing. Okay, so DaVinci Resolve is free. It's awesome. You can do advanced color grading and apply different effects like After Effects. You can do advanced sound, um, cleaning up audio, doing noise reduction, um, isolating voice uh, from different things, uh, doing an equalizer, all of those things are very normal. And then you have advanced export options. You can export directly to YouTube and all sorts of different file types. Really great program. Uh, this is, again, this is the one that I use uh, primarily. All right, so let's go to the last one on the list today. And this is an app called Lunacy. Now I did a review on this one uh, last year. This one is completely free. They have um, different things you can buy on their website, uh, like assets, basically. A lot of powerful tools. And this one reminds me of um, a web-based application, I think it was called Studio, that allow you to build interactive artboards, different things where you can, you can create a button and have it bring you to the next artboard or uh, a number of different things. So you can kind of prototype different websites, um, apps and stuff like that. Really cool, has almost all the same vector tools as the first version of Affinity Designer. If you're looking at something and you're looking at doing something free, this is a really good first choice. Check this out first. So really cool app. A lot of different things that it can do, and it is free, and it is in the Microsoft Store. All right, you guys, do you have an app that you think I should have listed? This is late 2022, almost 2023. These are uh, some of the best apps at the best, most affordable prices for doing design work, especially if you want to get rid of your Adobe subscription fee. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have questions, put it in the comment section. And I'll see you in the next video.